Hello everyone, this is Mark Johnson, your fitness ambassador from Bounce Pep and the youngest son of Bill Johnson. Coming at you once again, please hit the like button. Please hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications when we release new videos. Also, I want you to go to bouncepep.com, download your copy of the new ebook, Be The Total Package. This is going to reveal important things that you need to understand and apply in your life to be fit and not only to be fit, but to get yourself in the right mindset to be the total package. So go ahead, be excited about it, be ready to read it. Go ahead and get your download and start reading it. Now, not so long ago, I made a video that explained that the key to overcoming distractions is to know what your purpose is. Because once you know what your purpose is, then you have something to focus your mind on other than a bunch of distractions that do nothing to help you level up. Now, that said, let me just say that this is going to be a part two to that video, okay? So this is going to be a follow-up. And what I want to reveal to you today is that purpose is the main component of overcoming distractions, but there's another component. So I'm just going to throw out a number here. Let's say that purpose is 70%. Okay, so 70% of overcoming distractions is knowing what your purpose in life is so that your life has meaning and so that you spend your time meaningfully and productively. But there's another 30%, okay? And you can't really separate the two. So I want to explain to you what this other 30% is today. And here we go. Solitude. Another way to say it is isolation. And what I mean by this is at some point in your day, now this is practical advice. I want you to understand this is practical advice that you can apply this is something you can do, you know, in your life. At some point in your day, you have to create solitude for yourself where you are not around a bunch of people. You're not around a bunch of distracting, uh, distracting technology, you know, your smartphone, all these dumb notifications, uh, you know, uh, pointless YouTube videos about, uh, you know, nonsense, a bunch of social media, like you need to cut all that stuff off, cut all that stuff out for a certain block of your day so that you can actually focus on something and get something productive done. So this idea of solitude means that you are with yourself in your thoughts, focusing on whatever your purpose is. You're working on that thing without distractions, without looking over here and looking over there and looking up and down and behind you and people calling you on the phone and you know people emailing you and, and, and this that and the third and you checking your email and trying to rush off replies and looking at social media playing video games or trying to catch up on your favorite tv no you have to have a block of time in your day where you are not distracted and i, I want i want you to understand that this you have to do this actively not distracted is not the way for me to say it's not the correct way to say it where you are not allowing distractions 
into that block of time, okay? You are keeping distractions out on purpose. So if you need to turn your phone off, turn it off. Turn off that TV. Turn off all the, tell people that you don't have time to talk right now, okay? Tell people that you can't be interrupted. Maybe it's one hour a day. If you can just do this for one hour a day, which is not even that long, but it's just one hour a day, that'll give you a leg up on 95% of the people in this world. You know, most people don't, uh, they don't isolate themselves for any amount of time during the day and just focus on their purpose working on their purpose, working on something meaningful without distractions. It's not to say that people never work on anything meaningful, but what happens is they don't know how to tune out the distractions. They don't know how to just push them away. Okay. And so they're less effective than they could be. What I want for you is I want for you to get into the habit of setting aside blocks of time or at least one block of time during your day where you are alone and you can focus and be productive. If you can increase that beyond one hour, if you can make it two hours or three hours, then your productivity is going to go up even more. And understand, sometimes it's not so much about uh, doing something. This, this thing about solitude, sometimes it's simply allowing yourself a block of time to think. I mean, do you realize how important thinking is? Thinking. Having clarity of thought. Having coherent ideas. So sometimes you need quiet time without distractions to simply formulate coherent ideas, okay? And then once you have coherent, clear ideas, then you can take action that makes sense, okay? This is very, very hard to do if you've got people and technology distracting you all throughout your day. It's just very, very hard to do. You're going to be less effective, less productive. So that's all I wanna say about that. Remember, the most important thing about overcoming distractions is to know what your purpose is. And then you have to be able to create solitude, okay? Solitude for yourself so that you have time alone that is quiet where you can think and where you can actually work productively without interruptions and get things done. There you have it. That is part two of how to overcome distractions. All right, take that with you. Talk to you next time.